The vast expanse of space has always captured humanity's imagination. For centuries, we have gazed at the stars with dreams of reaching them. In 1987, this dream became a reality for the Philippines, when took its first monumental step toward space exploration. Today, we look back at the inspiring journey of Agila-1 and Agila-2, the first satellites to carry the Philippines into the new frontier. Agila-1 or Mabuhay was launched on March 20, 1987, under the name Palapa B-2P in Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. It was originally under Indonesian company, PT Pacific Satellite Nusantara until it was acquired by Philippine company, Mabuhay Satellite Corporation which is under PLDT in 1996. The story begins in 1996, a time when satellite technology was rapidly transforming telecommunications worldwide. It was during this era that the Philippines boldly entered the race for space with the acquisition of Agila-1, a satellite purchased by the Mabuhay Satellite Corporation. This groundbreaking move marked the first time a Filipino entity owned a satellite. Originally known as Palapa B2P, the satellite was acquired from PT Pacific Satellite Nusantara, an Indonesian company. Renamed Agila-1, after the majestic Philippine Eagle, it symbolized strength, vision, and progress. But Agila-1 was just the beginning. This satellite, though not launched by the Philippines, paved the way for the country's entry into global telecommunications, providing services such as direct-to-home television and internet connectivity. One year later, the Philippines took an even bolder step. On August 20, 1997, the Agila-2 satellite was launched into orbit from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center in China. This marked a historic moment for the Philippines it was the first time a satellite, built specifically to serve the Filipino people, was launched into space. With its state-of-the-art transponders, Agila-2 was designed to serve not only the Philippines but also the Asia-Pacific region. It provided enhanced telecommunications capabilities, including voice, video, and data transmission. For a nation in the early stages of embracing the digital age, this was a game-changer. The launch of Agila-2 was more than just a technological achievement. It represented the Philippines' aspirations to be a significant player in the field of space and telecommunications. However, the journey of Agila-2 was not without its challenges. Maintaining a satellite in orbit requires meticulous planning, constant monitoring, and advanced technology. Despite these hurdles, Agila-2 remained operational for over a decade, providing critical services to Filipinos and fostering partnerships across the Asia-Pacific region. The success of Agila-2 also inspired discussions on the importance of investing in science and technology. It served as a catalyst for future projects, proving that the Philippines could compete in the global arena of space technology. Today, the legacy of Agila-1 and Agila-2 lives on. These satellites not only revolutionized telecommunications but also inspired a new generation of Filipino scientists and engineers to dream of exploring the stars. In recent years, the Philippines has made remarkable strides in space technology, launching a series of indigenous satellites that reflect the country's growing capabilities and aspirations. Among these are Dewata 1, Dewata 2, and the innovative Maya CubeSats, each representing a milestone in the nation's journey into space. These projects not only showcase the Philippines' technical advancements but also symbolize the resilience and determination of Filipino scientists and engineers. Dewata 1, launched in 2016, marked the country's first venture into microsatellite development, designed to monitor weather patterns, natural disasters, and environmental changes. Its successor, Dewata 2, took things further in 2018, featuring enhanced imaging capabilities and an amateur radio unit to aid communication during emergencies. Meanwhile, the Maya CubeSats, compact yet powerful, have opened doors to cutting-edge space research, focusing on education and technological experimentation. All these achievements build upon the foundations laid by Agila-1, the first Philippine satellite launched in 1996, which signaled the nation's entry into space exploration. What started as a dream of technological independence and innovation has now evolved into a vibrant program pushing boundaries in Earth observation, disaster management, and academic collaboration. 
These satellites are living proof that the dream of space exploration, first realized decades ago, is not only alive but also thriving in the Philippines.